Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Thank you for tuning in for another episode. I just want to show you a couple of the boas, especially this girl right here. She just shed out. She's looking phenomenal, loving the colors on her, and she's definitely growing. So I'd say she's a medium-sized snake, a good size for her. Um, this is the Argentine boa. She's 100% locality. Nothing has been added into her, which is amazing. So uh, this is basically what you would see if you go down to South America, start hunting around, and uh, you might find one of these crossing your paths. But unfortunately, here in the next couple years, that's gonna be getting less and less because they are on the watch list or endangered list, unfortunately, because the human population is uh, moving in for agriculture and building and taking over their natural areas, which is really sad. But thankfully, we have great breeders here in America and in Canada, I'm sure other places, but I know there's some good people uh, in those areas that are breeding these as 100% pure locality, keeping the bloodlines alive. Uh, for us who enjoy them, want to keep them as pets, and most importantly, probably to keep the species alive. So like I said, she's 100% pure. A lot of people do add in different morphs into them. I'm not sure why. I think they look phenomenal as is. I've seen people add in the true red tails just to get more of a coloration on the saddles and on the uh, on the tail coloration where you see here she is pure and IMG. I mean, she's super dark. Naturally, you add IMG into one, it's going to get even darker, which would look really cool. But I just wish people would leave the Argentines alone. They're phenomenal as is and adding any type of a morph into a pure locality uh, is kind of, I don't know, it's kind of weird to me. <laughs> but people will do what they want to do, and that's fine. So this girl, I would say, you know, she's getting bigger. She just shed. So really enjoying the colors of her, uh, <clears throat> her new skin. So if you guys are looking for one, I would definitely quickly buy them. When they're up, they don't last long. They're difficult to find. And I don't think the prices are coming down on these anytime soon, but there are other uh, natural uh, looking ones. Like this is just a black and white coloration. They do have, they co do come in other colors and variations uh, naturally without other stuff being added to them, which is really nice. So just wanted to show her to you guys. We'll move on to the next boa. All right, we have this beautiful girl. This is a ghost boa and she is phenomenal, aging very, very well. Love the colors on her, love the speckling, really like the whites on the belly, transitioning into the lighter browns on top, and just the really bold saddles that you can see, and I love the tail coloration. Super sweet snake, had all these as babies, and they've been growing up very, very well. Most of them are about four years old. They're not gigantic, but I do feed them every two weeks. And I used to think these were really big until I started handling the female anaconda that's definitely getting some size. And I'm like, oh man, bows are kind of small <laughs> on the, uh, the small size of snakes. But I know a lot of people do like the ghosts. I say this often when I show her, I think ghosts are one of the uh, most overlooked snakes. They're phenomenal. They are not super flashy. They're not super dark, which a lot of people like the IMG stuff. Um, and, uh, a lot of the expensive flashy stuff, but it's just a solid looking snake, beautiful colors. And what's really cool about these is because if you get one with head um, albino in it, because it's the anery and the hypo, and if you get the albino, the hit, you can make moon glows, which is phenomenal. So you can get a, you know, a really cool basic ghost with albino, head albino, and then you can make Mooglos and snows. I have a snow in a, another tub, so I can't easily get her out. But just wanted to show her off to you guys. Haven't shown her in, in quite a while. And you know, some people were saying that you guys want to see some of the oldies. Uh, so here we go. We'll check out some of the older boas. And they're not old by any means. I just have a lot of new stuff. So uh, these all are still well taken care of. Uh, you know, all the new stuff still comes in. But we still have to watch out for all the old stuff as well. And Boas still are at the top of my list being some of my favorite species um, next to the anacondas, obviously. But then the, the, the ball pythons are coming in on a quick second, so boas better watch out soon. So we'll check out the next one. 
All right, let's check out a true red tail bow. Look at that tail on her. That is magnificent. Look how bright that is. A blood red tail on her. So this is a Guyana true red tail. Nothing else has been added into her. She is 2000, what is she? 17. So slow grower, had a lot of issues when she was baby. I believe she was wild caught and I didn't know that. She almost died, a lot of regurgitation. She couldn't hold down a meal, which I hear is very common for wild caught snakes. And I'm not too pleased because I was definitely not told it was wild. I would not have bought it, but I'm glad I did because she looks phenomenal. Look at this patterning on the top of her going down the sides. Really cool belly markings, but that tail is just out of this world. Super docile snake. She eats every week now with no problems. She's starting to grow a lot this year. I don't know what her potential will be in the future. I'm thinking she's going to be a rather small snake, which I'm okay with. As long as she stays healthy, no problems. That's all that matters to me. So I just want to show her off to you guys. Don't really show these true red tails off enough. There is a big difference between true red tails and the BCIs, which I'm not really not going to get into in this video. So no morphs come from these lines. They all come from the BCI line or BI line. And if you do find a morph from the true red tail, they will be very, very expensive and super rare. But um, I think people, I think people have just left these alone from how gorgeous they are. Not that the BI is not looking good, but the red tails have something very, very special about them. And people, I don't think want to mess around and murk up the water with these, which I totally understand that. That is it guys. Hopefully you enjoy your day, your weekend. And uh, if you guys want to see anything in particular, let me know. And on that, see you guys on the next video.